Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here with Christmas in April. It's a monthly series where uh, on, on the 25th of every month, we scrap Christmassy stuff. And my, I had no idea what I was gonna scrap this month. And <clears throat> yesterday when we went to the uh, Astros game, to celebrate John's birthday, um, we took lawn chairs and we sat in the little lawn area uh, around in the area called the Battery because there were no tickets in the stadium. And oh my God, we just absolutely loved watching the game that way. There are kids playing and, and puppy dogs running around and um, you can watch the game and it's just wonderful. And so anyway, um, as well, we used some lawn chairs that uh, John and I used to use lately, more you know, like recently, um, for uh, sitting at kids' um, soccer games and and um, softball games and baseball games and such. And um, I noticed on the arm handle of mine uh, there was a. a just a swath of purple paint. And that brought to mind that uh, <laughs> we were painting the loft. The, the furniture that we'd ordered hadn't come in and we just moved back from Brussels and we were painting the um, our downtown loft that we had bought right before we got transferred to Brussels. And the there was a like a cove sort of a wall that enclosed the uh, glass that was our exit door out to the balcony overlooking Main Street. And you can kind of see the purple back here. It's a really dark, beautiful, I think it's it, it was actually called majestic purple or royal purple or something like that. Just really beautiful color. And I we were we bought the loft because it was four blocks from um, what was then Enron Field and, and later you know, became uh, Minute Maid Park where the Astros played. So we had season tickets and we walked down there and seeing the purple paint at the Astros game, at the game where the Astros were playing the Braves, I started, you know, kind of talking to the kids and, and telling them that story. And it made me look in my... Uh, phone to find the photos, and I thought, you know, uh, we're here, uh, John and, and Katie shared a birthday month, and we were celebrating John's birthday, but Katie's birthday was just a, a week or so before, so it's kind of, we celebrated both birthdays all month long, and so, I don't know, just I went back, and, and the photos that I had were from when they came for Katie's first Christmas. And here's a <laughs> photo of John. And I actually have another, of course, because there's a Katie bug, because it's, it's a Katie bug page. I have to have a ladybug on there. And because it's John, I have to have a penguin. But not only that, the 25th of April is World Penguin Day. So you know, we've got we've got all kinds of all kinds of things. So we're gonna have have some fun here. Uh, I, I'm kind of gonna take an easy peasy route. I pulled my supplies from um, Evergreen and Holly, the um, uh, Vicky Booten Christmas collection from this past Christmas. And I'm, I have, uh, uh, my idea is a three uh, by two grid, three across and, and two down. And I'll have um, one photo on one of the rows and, and two squares worth of embellishments. And the other one will have one square worth of embellishments and two photos. So we'll, we'll see and have different color stories going. There's yellow. I love this yellow paper that's very distressed looking. Um, 
And um, I've got that at the bottom of every photo cluster. I have a, uh, a doily kind of stuck in there. And here I've got the color story here is the green. I picked a paper that had some green. She's got a little green sweater that she's opened up from her um, Christmas gift. And I'm gonna do a little bit of glue here. I didn't do a white border around the photo. I debated about that. I was going to, but... So that's gonna be one photo cluster. This one, the um, there was a, this red that's kind of got some purple uh, undertones uh, to it and there's a lot of red and it's it's kind of a deep reddish purple that we're we're looking at there um, oops my stapler is out of staples so I will just glue these together and I will add the staple um, or not at the end. This color story is more the, the beige of the brick and, and there's a little blue going on in my jacket and in, in uh, Katie's outfit. And so I'm going to kind of do this. I love the mixing in, and I know Helen Parker's out there just uh, laughing at me because I'm saying that I love mixing in the kind of the neutral beige and brown when I have other colors, and it just, it just seemed to look so pretty in this collection. I, um, I mostly don't care for brown and beige. Okay, so my three photo clusters are done. Let me see how what I want to do. I want this one on the line of its own, and it's dark, so I'm thinking towards the bottom, and I'll put these two here, and this is going to anchor that third spot here. So we'll do that and I think this is how I'm going to put this together. I do want this little frame in here. I think, or not, <laughs> but I did want to do that, and so this I thought would be the title And, and I've just kind of pulled some things out without really giving a whole lot of thought. I pulled this because it has, I want some of that brown beige on, on each um, each area, or kind of spread throughout the page. I've got these kind of ticket ish things and I'll kind of do something there and this holiday cheer will be the type let's just start putting stuff down I'm gonna I'm gonna just commit so I'm gonna do this That will work 
for me. I maybe have that too far up. I may, whoops, I've got two doilies there and they, I glued only one. I do that. Let me bring this down a bit. I want everything more to the center-ish of the page. There. And then I've got... Um, I have foam behind these. I'm going to bring this over here. I'm always pulling these things off with my left hand, and it's hard to reach over to the right to throw them away, but I don't want to leave them around on the desk. Okay, so then this is going to go... There ish. <laughs> this has tape behind it, and I want it kind of down there. Um, I had another evening with the darn prednisone keeping me awake and so I pulled all these pieces and kind of assembled them there we go and now I'm gonna do this I want it as far up as that is down and as far over as that is. So that's about right. I pull that up and turn it this way. It's kind of, it doesn't look right turned the other way. I'm gonna put this down and then work everything else around it because it's kind of, the statement piece over here and it needs to be over over there let's see i want to glance it down Gonna do that, and this will go there just as an extension. And I fussy cut these from what is my favorite paper in that whole collection. I love the way these are constructed with the um, evergreens in the back. And um, and the, the pretty leaves in the front. Okay, this is, I kind of did that wrong. Let me put that on here. I'm going to cut this shorter and save it because I can use it somewhere else. I'm going to do it here. And then this one Does that also need to be cut shorter? I think it does. And again, another piece that will be useful. 
And I'm going to put that there. And then I'll do this one. Kind of like that. And I don't want to cover up that whole frame and I'm ending up doing that. But that's where the title needs to be. Actually, it could go there, couldn't it? Put a little bit of liquid glue on the chipboard. Kind of line it up there. Okay. Now, I have kind of color matched some flare that I want to add. That one's kind of cute right there. And then I'll see if I can find some things from the sticker books to kind of add around the flare. And this is one that picks up on the blues. So I'm going to put it right there. I don't want it in exactly the same place. And here's the one that picks up on the dark reddish color. And I'll go here down at the bottom. I've got the penguin here, which I thought might be cute next to the title. And I'm gonna use the ladybug. Let's see, I'm gonna have, um, I've got three little things. The Santa was here, goes there. And the look of my socks goes there. And the Katie's first Christmas goes here. And so I'm gonna put the ladybug there. So I need to get some of the thin strips hmm. I don't know what I ever did without this uh, these thin foam strips of adhesive and I, I think you might remember I went on my let's use up my existing uh, adhesive kind of kick <laughs> there. And I found this in that, uh, in that process. I didn't even know I had it. I don't know where I got it or when. It must have come in a occasionally I've been gifted with um, adhesive. I'm going to do this one just right on I'll glue it straight on. I think it that's going to work better. Um, let's see, where's the other one? The Santa was here, and I may put this one over the flare. Let's see, the flare, the lines in the flare are not parallel or perpendicular or whatever it is that they need to be. So, 
So, I'm thinking that I'm going to put a bunch of sequins in here. Put that down there. Now, let's look for cute stickers. I thought I might do a little stack of presents. There are these presents here. And I thought I could cut right here and maybe tuck this behind the bow. That's a lot of presents and they're big and it kind of hides the tree. But, uh, here we got it. So I want to bring them down a bit. See if that works. That seems to work. Okay. I've got a green bell here and we're kind of keeping up the, the color stories that are going on. So I'm going to do the bell right here beside the green flare and we'll see what else we can find in maybe a different kind of green. There is this, there, you know, these gifts still left there. Ah, how about this little guy that says nice? Okay, there we go. Now, going back over to here, I want to keep the kind of beige uh, story going. Um, <clears throat> and there isn't any blue in the collection, so I've got the blue there in the flare. So I, I don't, let's see. I do think this would look pretty somewhere in here, maybe this way, kind of. Nope, not, not crazy about that. The scale doesn't seem quite right, but how about this little banner of stars. I could turn them upside down and they could go the opposite of the way banners normally go. And I can put a little bit of foam on the end there. And I really like this that says Holiday Cutie, but I don't think I have anywhere to use that on here. I will, I'm sure my, um, my photo library is filled with um, photos of the kids that would, could take that little title, Holiday Cutie. I have this wooden heart that I can put there, and that kind of fits. I, I don't want that glued down. I kind of want that to be lifted up too. So I'm gonna put try, I have to take the adhesive off both sides to be able to do it right now. Actually, I don't. 
how about I do this, and I leave the adhesive off there, but it will still prop it up, but it will stick right there. Uh, that looks much better, because those are lifted, and they actually look like they're up in the air. And I've got this little um, craft colored circle that says Coco. And I can kind of just insert it right there. That works for me. Now here, I'm looking for that dark red. Um, let's see. I have this, this little guy right here is that really dark red. And I can put that there. And then uh, let me see if I can find this really dark green or even the black might look good next to it. <laughs> I'm gonna lift that up and try to what I'm trying to do is to get it to stick without sticking to the background. There. <laughs> okay, that that works. And now, up at the top, oh, here's a thing that says Holiday Cutie. So, this clearly needs to go on this page. It's a better size for what I'm doing here. So since I'm not gonna have staples on these two, I'm gonna cover up the staple here and just kind of put that right there. And what else do we have? I may do this kind of right over in here. And then I'll look for something from the puffy stickers to go on there. Um, I could just do a couple of the, um, The green, well, you know what? I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna put the yellow stars around. I'll do one red and one green uh, candy here and here. That looks like a gumball machine, and that's not the look I was going for. So. Let's do something else. I'm going to put these down here. I'm going to take this sticker and I'm going to cut off the evergreen bow from around the poinsettia. And I will and I put that in there. I want to get a little bit of foam behind it. Here we go. Here's a small piece. I thought this was going to be a really quick page. And I've got a strand of hair there.
Okay, that's better. I like that better. Um, now I have this, which I may be able to use kind of like so. The insides of the, the little um, stuff that, or maybe even right there. Not liking that. Um, somewhere. I, I can just save it, but you know me. I like if I've kind of torn something apart, I like to use it on that page. You know, the scale is just not right to put it up with these other things. So it would best go on this page, but I'm not liking how it looks when I do that. It just kind of seems to be sticking out uh, in all the wrong directions. Okay, let me now find, I still want, okay, I've got trees here. Maybe a tree could go there. Not liking that either, because again, it, it kind of sticks out too much. It's not a, a scale that I can tuck in close. So what I'm gonna do is I've got this puffy sticker that's kind of cute. That says, no such thing as too many twinkle lights. And I'm going to put it right across parallel with the red paper. And you know what? This holiday cutie, I'm taking that off because there is a better <laughs> one to go there. It says snug as a bug. And We call her Katie Bug, so that works, and it's green. So let me get, this is moving around and I'm not liking that. Let me get, I can't even tell if any glue's coming out there. I can take care of that after, after the camera stops. Um, okay, now I like these little yellow stars because it, it kind of, I like that it brings out the yellow. And I've got, you know, yellow in, in the three photo clusters. I like this word, joy. I'm gonna put it right here on that flare. There's a yellow spread joy. Oop, there's more yellow stars. I'm going to do, let's see, I've got one there. I'll do one here. And I will do another one kind of right there. Okay. Now I'm going to go back and see... I still want something pretty right there, and I haven't found it yet. Um, maybe, well, I kind of like this. It says home for the holidays. And it was our first time being home after being away for a couple of Christmases. It doesn't say home for the holidays. It just says 
for the holidays. Let me see if I have anything that says home, just so that I can kind of add to that. Um, I still do kind of like this. And if I put it like so, you can still see the, the words and you can see the red down at the bottom of it. Let me put it on some foam. And I think we're almost done. Uh, let's see. I've got this dark red uh, heart. That doesn't go there. That doesn't look good there. Okay, I like it better there. Um, I want some sequins there. Uh, here. I have the word joy there. So let me do family here. And it's that dark purpley red. And the battery is going away on my... Okay, I think we're... I do have this December 25th bit, and I like it because it's gold. I'm not, uh, let's see, this says home for the holidays, a time of magic. I think we're just ready for sequins. I have all the words and phrases I need on there. These two things go back into the pile for future use. And then now I need to I'm gonna put some sequins in both the boxes, kind of coming up from the, um, the greenery. So I'm gonna turn the page upside down so that I can see what I'm doing. Not that that usually produces any actual improvement in what happens just because I can see it. <laughs> okay, now I've got these strawberry patch uh, sequins that are from Spiegel Mom Scraps and there's a vivid, that dark red that you see down here and, I, and these big gigantic gold ones. So I'm kind of spilling them there, and then I will, um, I'm going to spill some more down here. Okay. This seems to be drying up faster than it usually does. I've been Okay. Now I'll kind of move those about press them down. There aren't many of the big ones. I, most of the big ones came to this up, up here, 
but I will, I'll just put those down there as a reminder that I, I may want to go back in and add a few. Okay, so now I think they've been in there long enough that I can do this. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, I love it. I love how they ended up just exactly as they are now, just barely peeking out from, from those two areas. So I'm going to sweep these uh, after the camera stops rolling and I'll put those back in the package for next time. And in the meantime, I'm gonna call this done. Uh, I will probably add some journaling and I may use my pen to coax down some of the little sequins that are kind of just tucked under, but not quite, um, not glued. Okay, so thank you for watching and uh, happy Christmas in April and happy World Penguin Day. And, uh, I'll have to make sure that I call my sister Patrice and wish her happy Penguin Day because she actually remembers that there is a Penguin Day because I wished her that several years ago when I first saw the meme on um, Facebook. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next month when we have Christmas in May. And it's also going to be load next month, so I'll try to tie it in with that day's load prompt or not. <laughs> so, bye.